Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Admiral Trench from the Clone Wars. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself, then get us going. Okay. This shouldn't, shouldn't be too crazy, but it is going to be crazy because he's got six arms. And that in itself is crazy. If you look up the definition of crazy in the, in the dictionary, um, good for you. And you'll see a picture of Admiral Trench because he's got six on them. I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly. Okay. So, you guys been watching the Clone Wars? You been watching the Clone Wars? I've been watching the Clone Wars. And if you have been watching the Clone Wars, no spoilers. Don't ruin it for anybody. Um, if you do, uh, I'm going to delete it. Just, just being honest with you right now. Because some people haven't seen it. And sometimes, once you say something, people want to be funny and have to do something and write something, you know. But uh, some people haven't seen it. So let's, let's just not do that. All right. Okay, but anyway, yeah, so it's, it's been really exciting, and um, I like it. Like I said, I, I talked about this in, in the actual uh, um, Trooper video, that I, I, I get it, it's called Clone Wars, but I, I don't know, there's a part of me that is like, I, I wish it was more about not just the clones, you know? But hey, again, it's called the Clone Wars, so what was I expecting, you know? Um, so yeah, okay. Let me, uh... Oh, that's in front. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying to, I've got to, I've got to plan this out correctly because he's all kinds of crazy. Okay, and there's like extra digits on his arms. I don't know why. I mean, we have, what, three? Like one, two, and then the hand? Well, he's got three and then the hand. It's crazy. But again, what did I just say? He is crazy. His design is, is super cuckoo, but pretty cool, right? That's why we're here. That's why we're drawing. Okay, so let me let me define a few more things real quick. Um, a, a lot of this is just going to be fur, you know? And we're not going to draw a lot of fur. I'm just going to kind of stylize, um, what do you call it? Uh, coloring book fur. Uh, I was, I was, someone on here one time was, was trying to define my style and I don't even know it. I don't even know what to call my style because it's, it's, uh, not quite comic book. It's not, they call it animation. It's like, okay, I, I get what you're saying. I know what you're trying to say. Because at first I thought, well, it's not moving, it's not animated, but I get it. Animation uses very, very uh, limited, minimal lines. And that's what he's trying to say. He's like, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I kind of came up with coloring book because it's very thick, you know, minimal lines so you can color. And uh, that's what it looks like to me, like coloring book style. So that's kind of what I've decided on. It's, I'm calling it coloring book style. But uh, because of that, too, where I was going with that was, um, uh, it's, it's, I'm not drawing all the hairs in his uh, fur. You know, I'm going to draw a very animated look, uh, coloring book style hair. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and we're going, we are going for the Clone Wars. Uh, version so he's gonna be very uh, mech on one side okay I think I think that's good I think I've got enough it's a very loose sketch but I've got enough to um, have placement that I know where everything's gonna be <clears throat> excuse me so I can uh, 
I can start to work with what I got here. So I'm going to erase some of these sketch lines and try to leave myself like a, a ghost of an image to work with. That way the pencil lines don't stand out over the Sharpie. But I do need to leave something. You know, I can't make it all disappear. So yeah, so I know you probably can't see this. This is all for me. This is just to guide me where I'm going to be putting my Sharpie lines down. And if you're working with pencil and you've been sketching too, now you can start drawing darker. Now's where we get uh, to the to the the dessert of our dinner, so to speak, the delicious part. Okay. So let's welcome everybody that skipped, because I appreciate anybody watching any part of these videos. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be working with the Sharpie fine point and the Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find the things that fine point can't quite find. So I'm going to work over my sketch. I've sketched the entire thing out, but I've erased a majority of it so I have a faint ghost of an image that I can kind of trace over and guide me with my Sharpie lines. So, let's see, what can I do first? Let's go with, let's start with the eyes and build our way out. So since we're working on the eyes, I'm going to work with the tiny Sharpie and then build my way out with the big Sharpie, okay? So, let's draw the eyes. So I'm gonna draw a circle. That might be too thin but it's, it's a good place to start. So I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit. I'm going to give him like a angry evil eye, something like this. And the other one is, because I'm doing like the, the uh, Clone Wars season seven version, he's got some uh, robot parts now. So I'm gonna give him a, a robot eye over here. And I'm not gonna draw all the parts in his, in his little mech suit um, face, but a majority of it. So these eyes, we're doing like that, kind of like a, a crescent moon kind of thing like this. And let's see, there's four of them, so I'm gonna make a smaller one here, like that. Another one just like that, and then a bigger one like I did there, like this. And I'm gonna kind of play around with, with the look of them. So kind of draw like a like that, like a an eyelid, so, so to speak. This just to kind of make it look weird, you know, kind of, kind of super strange face eye, you know. Um, so he's got a little mouth in there, but let's 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 build on the uh, the look of him first, and then we can uh, come into that. So what I was talking about in this too is that there's a lot of like fuzzy fur, like a tarantula, and uh, I'm not going to draw every single hair, but we are going to do some kind of like artistic looking fur, okay? So for his his uh, his first mandible, his little um, um, curly cue, um, flappy doodle, we're going to draw like a little thing in like that, okay? And so now I'm going to, like I said, add just every now and then stuff like that, just little, little jaggeds, just to show that it's it's got a texture in it, you know, but not all the time. We're not going to do that everywhere, okay? Okay, so that's going to help define the look of him too. And so he does have some some hair streaks going back, so I'm kind of preparing for that. And that's where the 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 uh, mech is going to start. So now I'm going to draw a line to this, and then I'm going to wrap it around to that to the eyeball. And then I'm going to draw this uh, mech flappy doodle. So here, I'm going to make more of a hard surface. Like that. And it's going to come in just a little bit. And then draw another one. Um, kind of like that. Okay? There we go. So, again, it all has a lot of mech inside of it. So uh, we can't draw all of it, but we can add just a little bit of... Uh, mechanical, when I say mech, that's what I mean, like mech looking uh, mechanical parts to make it look more uh, robot, robotish, robotics, robotoidian, R robotinal, <laughs> I said but. Um, so just stuff like that just to kind of make it, you know, a, a mech looking design. So now I'm going to give him a little mouth and we're going to give him little teeth. Let's see, these little ones, bottom's gonna come up like that. I want those bigger, like this. And then his other ones are gonna kinda come in, kinda fall.
flap underneath like that. Let me thicken this up just a little bit. There we go. Just kind of a little, a little low. Uh, furry mouth. There you go. Something like that. Okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, and I said he does have kind of like hair flop flapping back. So I'm just going to kind of do something like this just to kind of accent a uh, style, you know, like he's got hair streaked back. There we go. Just a couple little strange little things like that, just to kind of make it our own, make it uh, Admiral Trench. You know, he's a he's a crazy old robot man, or robot spider, you know? There we go. And so now we're going to draw the curvature of this one. And again, he's got some robot parts, so we'll just kind of do something like this, and then come back and, and uh, accent those with the smaller Sharpie. So I'm just gonna come in, same thing, just kind of do some some robot, uh, uh, like I said, mech stuff, you know? And I, I'm just kind of making it up, so if you don't do it like mine, don't worry, that's okay. You do what you want to do. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. I'm just here to help you out and to uh, guide you into this is, this is a, a way to do this. But remember, always make it your own. Do something different to uh, stand out because you are unique. All right, and then I can do, what can I do with that? Let's do a circle. Some kind of strange, you know, uh, mech looking thing. So here, let's do the same thing. Let's just do, put in some, some uh, greeblies. There you go, just kind of just something mech, you know, something crazy. I'm gonna say that word a lot. I might get on your nerves by saying that word too much, but that's okay. There we go. Robotoid face. All right, so now he's got like this collar that goes around him. So let's go ahead and draw like the, the edges of it. And this one's kind of underneath. We can't see it as much. So we're going to wrap it around. We're going to bring it around town this and see how I did that because I wanted to do again just some some you know crazy mech stuff like I was talking about you know just just some robot stuff there we go okay so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in a bit then come back around and bring it around town like that same thing just add some fun some space space junk you know Let's see, with this one we're going to come in like this, and there you go, add some extra. Remember, you don't have to do like I'm doing, you do what you want. Okay, so now we're going to draw his little, his arms and his um, little shoulder pauldrons, okay? So I'm going to draw the first one in the front like this. Let's go ahead and do this other one over here too. So this one, like that. Same thing here, I'm gonna draw another one like this. And they're kind of flapping over each other so you can't see them in detail as much. Like that, same thing, we're gonna do that third one. Like this. There we go. So that kind of shows us where the arm's gonna be, like these shoulder pads, so to speak. And we're gonna build off that. So, again, I'm just kind of drawing just fur and arm and uh, fun, okay? So I'm gonna cover that like this. We're gonna draw a little, little uh, attachment like that for each side. And so I'm gonna draw his arms. He's kind of holding his arms up like this in front of him. You can't see, but that's how I'm doing it. So. I'm going to draw this arm coming in like this. Like I said, just a few little um, fur um, tufts to show where he is. And his hand is kind of like this, and he's only got two claws. So he's kind of doing like this with his hand. Okay? So I'm going to draw like this. And see, one, one finger is kind of down like that. I'm going to go ahead and give him a nail. And 
going in like this. The other one is over itself like that. So now I can draw the thumb like that. Okay. Again, it's only three fingers, so you know there's only so much we're gonna we're gonna put in there. A little bit, got a little excited there. All right, just kind of, kind of messed around. They kind of made it a strange, strange-looking maw, you know? Isn't that what the maw is? No, the maw is the mouth. I'm sorry, paw. I guess that's what it is. It's going to be a paw. So, what do you want to do? One arm, one metal. One. Let's do that. Let's do it like this. So this one I'm gonna do some robot parts so we're just gonna kind of kind of come down do something like this add some some lines again just robot parts this because all these arms are robots or are, are robotic they're not robots I guess um, and then this one is a uh, regular arm so mechanical arm regular arm Again, we're gonna do. He's got some crazy designs on him uh, that they're really cool, but they're like really intricate. So we're not gonna do all that. But I am just gonna, you know, add some, some. Uh, let's see. We'll close it off like this, just to kind of give it that unique look. Okay. And then we'll add color in there for that that crazy stuff. All right. So this one, uh, it's it's more of a um, just a, a big robot claw. Let's see, you're gonna see the, the side of it. We'll do like this so you can see the um, side of the fingers. And we're gonna do um, claws, like, like um, pincers, you know? There you go. Okay. So there's not much I'm really gonna do here because like I said, it's going to be a lot of metallic stuff that we're going to do there, but there's one arm. So let's go back and forth. So let's do this arm over here. Now, this one's just kind of hanging out, just kind of doing one of those. So again, like we did there, we're just going to do some fun, like, uh, you know, tufts, like I was talking about. Tufts, tufts of hair. Okay. And now see, now these are kind of wrapped over themselves. So we'll kind of do like that to, to, to connect them. And then this one, Forgot to add that in, so we'll, we'll we'll connect it like that. Okay, so this one's gonna come in, do like this. This hand we're gonna have pretty much like this. So I'm gonna let's see. There's the hand like that, doing one of these. So there's gonna be the thumb, something like that. we're gonna give it like the points like that so but this finger because there's only two is gonna be in like that okay so this one's coming down the knuckles right there gonna come in and do like that so this is pretty easy pretty easy with this one we're just kind of playing around with uh, with lines and uh, monster monster features There we go. Let's do some of that over there. That looked kind of cool. All right. All right, one and one, one and one. That's what I said. So, again, I'm going to come down here with one of those. Going to do that. Connect it like this. And again, these, uh, they got that, that cool design too. So we're just going to do like this just to accent that. And again, color is going to hide and, and play around with that to give it a better look. But that's what we can do to uh, accent our drawing, you know? Bring it, bring, give it some life, give it some fun. All right, so same thing here. We're going to do another one of those, but hanging down just pretty much like that. So we're going to do that extra part like this, the third bend in his arm. Don't know why, but okay. And uh, I'm going to do like that, the little cover up part. 
with this, connect it with some robot stuff, then give it some detail, and we're gonna do like we did there, you know, just some, some accent, and do some more with color, just to do something cool. Okay, again, robot stuff underneath there, so that's all we gotta worry about with that, but now we're gonna do like we did there, just a claw, and this one is gonna be up just a little bit more, so the fingers are gonna be, let's see, I'm gonna put in one, like that, do the other one like this, and that'll mean the hand's up, so this part, you're gonna see more flat than, than it's gonna be more at you like that than flat like this. So that's why I'm drawing the fingers first, because I know where I wanted those to go. Like that, okay? And there's the thumb. And again, I'm gonna add more um, uh, metal look to it uh, once we get to color, but I just wanna put that in there for now. So, okay, so let's do this one. We're gonna do just like this one, but just sticking out more. So he's more of like his claws are out, you know, it's coming at you. So from that shoulder, we're gonna uh, give him some fur like we do, the inside of his arm, like this. All right, and uh, we're gonna do just like we did, exactly like we did right there, just a, a claw of a hand, just out, you know? There's the thumb, and do a finger like this. this like that here we go and again we're gonna fur it off give him some detail here a little bit of fun let's see this is going across a little bit of furry fun color is going to take care of a lot of it but you know we can we can have some fun we can do some stuff There we go. All right, so again, we're gonna do one over here. And same thing just like that, just kind of hanging down. So we're gonna do one of those. I don't know what that is. It's just something I kind of came up with to, you know, give it some kind of robot look. Metal parts, you know? All right, and so same thing, third digit, we're gonna Add that extra plating, come in here like this. And there's obviously some round curvature stuff that where it connects, but yeah, let's just draw what we want. Okay. Ooh, let's do that. Let's kind of mix it up, you know? It's not like everything's gonna be exactly the same. Maybe these parts ran out, and so he had to get something else, you know? Yeah, think think outside the box. Mix it up a little bit. And so this hand is gonna be more of the side view. So the thumb's gonna be like this, the predominant part, the predominant digit, like that. And you're gonna see the side of it like this to the fingers. Like that. And so we'll do this one kind of in. And there you go, so side, side hand, side crazy hand. Let's add a little bit of extra like we did there. Just, just something, you know? Okay, this one you can't really see, so we'll just do something like that. Just to make it the same, you know, make it a little, a little cool. And heck, let's go ahead and just do something like that. Why not, right? Just to make it special. All right, so now all we gotta do is draw his uh, robe, just hanging down, and I'll be honest with you, I don't have a picture of the bottom of his robe in the new one, but I've got a picture of his old robe, so I'm just gonna do like I did there, or like like I can see there, and uh, draw a little bit of the detail. Coming in, uh, looks like it's got a button or something right there in the middle. That's where it's gonna connect right there, that's gonna come like that, and that's gonna come down to the middle. We're gonna split it off like this. 
and I'm gonna draw, go ahead and draw. I'm gonna add some detail in a second. So I've got the other edge coming down like this over his foot. This one's like that. It's gonna flap over like that. I'm gonna have his foot in here like this. There we go. Again, I'll add some detail in a second. I just wanted to start with the fun. Let's see, big, big old toe claw like that. Big old toe claw like this. Foot up like that. That's where his pants are. You can see a little bit of his pants on that side. And now we'll add just a little bit of detail. We'll just do something like this. Ooh, the Sharpie's dying. that again just to accent it that's what I like about this smaller sharpie sometimes you can get a cool accent um, for for specific uh, things you know and it stands out a little bit more okay just want to close off some of that we'll give them some fur like we do like that so there you go I say we take care of the rest with color so that is Admiral Trench from the Clone Wars so here is my colored version you could do it however you like I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it if you'd like to color it like this you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used or you can just make it your own remember this is how I draw you draw how you draw don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.